Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at molecular shape. A molecular shape is important in determining how a molecule will interact with other molecules. We are going to make use of the valence electron pair impulsion. The theory states that the valence electron pair in a molecule will arrange themselves around the central atom of the molecule so that the repulsion between their negative charges is as small as possible. It is based on the idea that the geometry or the shape of the molecule is mostly determined by the repulsion among the pairs of the electrons around the central atom. We are going to follow some few serious steps here. The first step is us determining the Lewis diagram structure. We are going to count the number of electron pairs around the central atom. And we are also going to determine the basic geometry structure of the molecule. Okay, now let's start. We are looking at boron trifluoride. The first step is to draw the molecule using the Lewis diagram structure. If you open the periodic table and locate both boron and fluoride, you'll notice that boron is on group 13. It has an atomic number of 5. If we use the alpha diagram to draw the electronic configuration, we'll determine it to be 1s squared, 2s squared, 2p1. And hence, we can say that the valence electrons are 3. And therefore, we know that the Lewis dot diagram is based on the valence electrons. Boron structure will have 3 valencies around its structure. If we go to fluoride, it is in group 17. It has 9 atomic number. If we use the atomic number on the up diagram, we'll determine the electron configuration to be 1s squared, 2s squared, 2p5. And therefore, fluoride has 7 valence electrons and 2 core. If we take all this knowledge and draw a Lewis dot diagram structure, since we are dealing with 3 fluoride elements here and one boron. Direction here can be expressed as thus. Step number two will be to count the number of electrons and the lone pairs around the central atom. Remember that the central atom is boron. If you closely count, you'll notice that we have three electron pairs and no lone pair. Final step, step number three, is to determine the geometry of the molecule using this table here, with A representing the central atom and X representing the terminal atoms. Since we said there are three electron pairs and no lone pairs, this geometry can be determined to be trigonal planar, with a general structure of A X cubed, with A being boron and X being our fluoride. You can also explore the molecular shape and the 3D structure. I really hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.